All right, time for some some breakfast. I got my seasoned uh, cast iron frying pan here. I got the kettle up, touching against the, the stove there. And hopes that we can bring her to a boil. We're gonna have ourselves some bologna and eggs. That was the sleeping bag I was, ta I was talking about. Geez, that, that's a warm sleeping bag though, I gotta tell you that right now. It's rated for minus 10 Celsius or 14 Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's by Woods. Bologna frying it from frozen. But the winds are gonna pick up just around daylight. Uh, what time is it now? It's 6.30. So in, in an hour's time, the winds are just scheduled to pick up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this fire uh, burn out, not put no more wood into it. We're going to cook our breakfast, have a cup of tea, and hopefully I, it'll be late enough that I can get some video of the outside structure, how I got it set up. But the winds are going to be gusting 50 out of the north, and I have no protection that way. It's just going to pound the tent, so I'll have to take her down uh, first thing. But last night was a success, I think. Shorty eggs on there right now too, it is. One successful flip. Two successful flips. Oh, can't wait to get that. Can't wait to get that into me. Newfoundland ghost wolf. Right on. Yeah. Quick scrubbing. Put the kettle up here. Ooh, got a different sound to her, doesn't it? So that's it. Some. Ow, ow, ow. Nice. Bologna, toast, eggs, and ketchup. Ready to go. She's warm in here. Went through a fair bit of water last night. So yeah, I'm gonna get this into me and uh, I'll uh, see you guys shortly when I show you what the outside of the tent looks like, how I got that all set up. All right. Later. That's the amount of wood that I went through uh, last night. I'm gonna get my Tent or my tent, my sleeping bag and everything. Fold it up and put it back into the uh, into the bag, and get the cotton and everything uh, all put together or taken apart, whatever. Table, the whole nine yards, everything's coming out uh, because the wind is going to pick up, and I got to get this uh, thing down before uh, we get hit with the 50 kilometer winds. Like I said, I got to set up in an open field, so she's going to get pounded by the by the wind. And right there on that on that wall. Okay, got a rolling boil on the on the kettle. Time to pour a cup of tea. Perfect. Quick update here. Got the chair gone and the cot sleeping bag and everything's all folded up. So now next thing to go would be this table. And as you can see, 
the wind is starting to pick up it's going to hit 50 kilometers soon so i got to uh get the show on the road so this is this is the tent set up how i had it that's the a-frame that i was talking about this log right here and that, that log right over here and right there where they joined was uh 14 feet 14 feet from the the butt end of the uh of the a-frame so i was able to get these uh up above where they where they tie you know the angle was right it married up with the uh the slope of the roof so it married up with the slope of the roof i was able to get these logs on and uh help secure the, the tent so that that's my setup and i had one of these smaller poles on on the four and aft to to stabilize the tent back and forth side to side she was she was braced by these uh by the a-frame and forward and aft she was braced by those uh, smaller poles and this is uh, Terry's tent out of uh, Goose Bay in Labrador and www.terrystents.ca just letting that stove die out a little bit so I can uh, pull the pipe start taking this down so overall a uh, successful night in the tent except for the little mishap earlier with the uh, I thought I had cured the stove, but obviously I didn't. So, all in all, it was a good night. So, this is kind of what's left. And all I did was open up the uh, half of the tent there, took the stove pipe out, give it a give it a chuck out through the uh, through the stove pipe hole there then I grabbed the stove and brought it outside right now I gotta clean up all this wood clean up all around the base of the tent and get it down that's the leftover wood and here's what the a-frame looks like I just got finished uh, putting away putting away the tent you can see the frost line there I don't know if you guys can see that or not but yeah, the, the, it wasn't perfectly level. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it was level enough. But yeah, I said 14 was a perfect height. But what I may do is go about 14, 14 and a half or 14 and three inches. Because uh, if you add three inches to one side, you add three inches to the other, that's six inches, right? So you double whatever you add. So uh, I think next time I set it up, I'll go 14.3 or 14.4 just to see what, because this side here was really good. It was five feet high. This side here was a little less, but that's because the ground wasn't perfectly level, right? This is how uh, it's it was set up, and you always want a good ridge pole, right? You got to make sure, don't get a flimsy ridge pole, that leads to problems. A good strong ridge pole, yeah, what I might do is later they come out, peel all the logs, stack them up and let them dry. I can even put them in the garage. Of course, the uh, bigger you make your poles the more solid it is and if it's not green wood green wood still got flex into it so once these uh poles dry they'll they'll become a lot stiffer and a lot easier to work with but yeah i might just keep some uh some tent poles here ready to go and i might even set it up somewhere so that if i'm ever out camping i gotta take the tent down in the, the, the rain or wet snow I have a spot to air uh, set it up air it out run the stove and, and dry everything dry everything out there was a big dog around the moon last night I guarantee you and the moon the moon's still up uh, just over top of the house right there uh, hopefully you can see it I might peel these logs later when they, when you peel them and they dry they, they'll stiffen 
And like I said, I'll keep them around. So that if I ever go out with the canvas tint and it is a wet day when I take it down, then I can, uh, then I can uh, set it up when I get home and then let it dry out. Normally what I do is uh, tie a tarp on here, put up the tent, because the tent will tie on below the ridge pole. It ties on below the ridge pole, as you've seen in the video. Then you run a tarp from here up over the top of the uh, ridge pole and down on the, on the other uh, beam on the other side. And now the tent is uh, sheltered from, somewhat sheltered from the rain.